going on everyone? It's Rich Lux and in today's video, girl, you won't believe the drama. I'm giving away this Shane Dawson Jeffree Star merch bag, cosmetic purse. So if you want to win this bag, all you have to do is like the video, leave a little comment, follow me on Instagram, on Twitter if you want, and be subscribed to the channel. Super easy and may the best woman win. Okay, so it's really, it's a really neat bag. I like it. Okay, so here we go. So let's talk because I feel like we need to talk. We're going to be talking about Jaclyn Hill and be kind of holding off on making this video because... I just, I wanted to see what the reaction was by the people, right? You guys, right? And it's very interesting because in Jaclyn Hill's video, and for those of you who are not caught up on the drama, Jaclyn Hill has came out with her holiday highlighters. She came out with a, a girl, okay? And she's super excited. A lot of people are making comments about her face. A lot of people are making comments about the timing of all this. Is there room for Jaclyn Hill right here, right now? And I say this, oh, there's so much going through my mind. Like I really need to just iron it out. But but first, but first, this video is sponsored the house by Shop LC. I have an exclusive VIP offer for you guys. You can use the code down below and save 30% off. So I'm really excited to show you this before we get into the Jaclyn Hill drama, Shop LC. This is so beautiful and it's in perfect time for you guys for the holiday season, for birthdays, for something under the tree, for anniversaries and gifts. I think you would really like this. Shop LC has amazing jewelry at super affordable prices. So you can get this double bracelet. A lot of the times for holidays, you know, giving money or a gift card is just kind of cold. So I think it's really neat to give. It's really unique, beautiful jewelry. And Shop LC has some amazing jewelry. Look at this ring. It is so beautiful. Look how it shifts in the light. Wow. And there's one more ring I want to show you. And it comes with this beautiful packaging. So if you're kind of like on the fence about what to give someone for Christmas or something like that, these are just really, really beautiful pieces. On the website, they have so much more stuff. They even have skincare and beautiful necklaces. And it's such an attention to detail. Check it out right here. I just, I'm a sucker for jewelry. I love jewelry. You know, jewelry is one of those things that's just like makeup, like no matter what age, what size, what race, jewelry will fit you. Makeup will look good on you. Jewelry will always fit you, look good on you. It's just one of those things. So thank you Shop LC for sponsoring this video. Check out their amazing jewelry and skincare and all this stuff on their website. I think you're really gonna like it. So Jaclyn Hill, okay. Oh my God, I I'm very passionate about this because I feel like, and I don't, I don't wanna come off as a hater, right? I don't wanna be like, oh, I'm gonna watch this video because I know you're gonna have some negative to say, but it's not always that. And I hope that if you've been watching for a while, you know it's not always something negative to say. It's just a lot of views and opinions. I've been, I wanted to wait to see what the audience response was on Jaclyn Hill's new, new launch, right? So this is gonna be, this is a big one for her. You know, she released a lot of lipsticks the, the beginning of this year, earlier this year, and then now she's releasing a lot of highlighters and there's brushes involved. And then I start to questioning like, where are those like Morphe brushes? And, and what happened to this? Like, let me just, let me tell you how deep this is, okay? So I've been following Jaclyn Hill for a while and she came out with this brush set right here with Morphe. And this was about $150. And for $150, you get the case and you get all these brushes, right? These amazing, beautiful brushes that I haven't used. To me, it's like a collector's thing. Like I like buying this stuff, guys, because I like to collect it. Like I love collecting makeup. I think when it comes to aesthetic, silver and white are very much Jaclyn Hill's like go-to. And it has her name and branded. And these were the Jaclyn Hill Morphe brushes. And like I said, you got all this for $150. In the video, she claimed that these brushes were the best. They were amazing. She loves them. I would even go as far as to say, we well, wouldn't need any other brush set. So here we are. She has this new brush set. There's three of them. And it's like, okay, so do I not use those? Should I not use those? Or can I use them? Like, you know, it would have been nice if she would have had some type of incorporation in the video where she would have said like, well, have you guys bought my brushes from, you know, the Morphe collab like a couple years, um, last year, I would recommend using these brushes from that collab. Like it was just kind of like holiday cash grab. And I'm gonna say this why. In the video, she said, I'm doing this. And this was a statement she said in her video, I'm doing this for you guys. I'm doing this for like, you're coming out with an entire makeup collection, makeup highlighters for the subscribers. So it's not about you and, and having a business and like being an entrepreneur. It's not about you making money. It's about you guys. And in the video, I just, I took it kind of, it, it was very offensive. And I'm going to tell you why, especially because this clip right here, let me roll it.
So in the clip, she's getting $100 bills and she's patting herself with makeup and it, it, I get where it's coming from. Like I get stunning and I get the joke, right? But for her, it doesn't fit her brand as of right now. Like for another influencer, it's very much so, I know it's not fair. Some people can get away with it and some people can't. But right now, this is not something Jaclyn Hill could get away with from a PR standpoint because she has still not giving money, because she has still has not given refunds. People who have purchased lipsticks, she refunded them. There have been some people who are still to this day saying they have not received the refund. I haven't heard anything updates about that. And it was just weird to come on camera and literally be like this fake sense of happiness, this forced positivity of like, oh my gosh, guys, I'm so excited. I worked on this so hard. This is my highlight collection. And I'm just I'm doing it for you guys. Like that whole act. To me, it should have just been done differently. Like I get she maybe she was excited, but it should have been done. It should have been done like, hey guys, for those of you who still have not received a refund from my last lipsticks, there's a form down below or something like that. You know, I again I want to apologize for the lipsticks. Guys, if you have given up on me, please give me a second chance with this relaunch. Like it should have been coming from a place of like, I'm coming to you, but I, I realized that I've messed up before. Maybe you can give me another chance and like maybe I can redeem myself. It just came across as like, I have been redeemed. This is it. And then to see influencers just like, oh, that's it. She didn't do anything wrong. Jaclyn Hill doesn't need to address anything at all because God forbid somebody points out a flaw on Jaclyn Hill, she's going to start claiming mental anxiety and her depression kicks in. It's just like, it's like a go-to. And I see a lot of the people in the comments, she's using her anxiety as a crutch, she's using her mental illness, whatever, as a crutch instead of owning it. And I don't want to like speak on it too much because I don't know much about it. I don't want to come across it like insensitive. And, you know what I'm saying? I just don't want to go there. But like, it seems like it's a cycle. It's like, then we get to the part where she starts talking about, <sighs> hold on, it's a lot right now, okay. Where she's like, she'll post regular videos, like one or two, and then she'll sell something. And then she'll post a regular video and then she'll sell something. And this was it, her last video about her calling her subscribers, it just seemed very forced, it seemed very fake. And in the next video, boom, she's selling a highlighter kit for the holidays. And you're literally like the caboose, girl. Everyone has already shown what they want to sell for the holidays. Huda, Jeffrey, Shane, Tati, Dominique Cosmetics. I mean, these people, they've all shown their cards. Even Laura Leach, girl. Laura Leach came out with the holiday collection. Although it looks like a summer collection, but we'll get into that later when I get it in the mail. It's like, girl, everyone has came out and you're literally the last one to show what you have. And as a consumer... Because I love consumerism and I love the way people shop and how people shop and the emotional sometimes behind shopping and the emotional purchases and like why do we shop the way we shop, right? Americans, it's insane, right? Is there room for Jaclyn Hill? And I always see this in the comments, like we should all get along. It's the beauty community. There's room enough for all of us. Is there though? Is there enough money for all of us? Because I feel like if you had $40, $60, were you really holding out for a Jaclyn Hill highlighter? You know, or would you have money however you went to another brand, another launch? And even indie brands have came out with so much stuff, right? Shop LC, love them so much. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like there's so much stuff your money could have gone toward and Jaclyn Hill comes in at the very last minute, boom, here's my holiday highlighter collection. And you better hope Jaclyn Hill that it goes 10, 10, 10, no hiccups because that's the last thing you need with all this drama. It's just the truth. And I haven't seen any reviews. I think a lot of people are scared to review and give it a positive review. And I think that those who will give it a positive, positive review and it comes out that there is hair in it and all these videos start being made, those people will retract their videos or delete the videos. Or It's just a lot. So Jaclyn Hill to me is a very controversial subject right now. And as it turns of timing, it should not have been done. She should have waited till these palettes come out maybe for February, for Valentine's, for Mother's Day. She should have just sat on it. This holiday cash grab, to me, that's what it is. She honestly, it, in my opinion, she, by watching the video, my opinion, she's not in the right place right now because why would you launch this now? 
it just doesn't seem like a good business move. And I've seen like articles popping up, like Allure Magazine, and they're like, the title's like giving it praises. And I'm just like, okay, what what is it? So all of a sudden, Jacqueline Hill's redeemed? Has she redeemed herself? Has Jacqueline Hill came and got her redemption moment? Because if that was it, I, because this was not it for me. It just isn't. Because she hasn't addressed things the way I feel she should have addressed things. I don't know. That's all I'm going to say. Don't forget, guys, enter the giveaway. Win this bag. It's super cute and amazing. And I'll let you go. Please let me know what you think about all the drama down below. I will be reading the comments. And as always, judge me kindly. I'll see you in the next video. Bye so much.